Well, I have five steps for the strategy. And the first step would be the social media presence. So what does your profile look like? Does it look like a resume? Does it look like a case study driven marketing tool? Um, does it provide your audience reasons to connect with you, reasons to care about you? Or is it just listing your achievements and your successes and um, you know, summarizing basically what your resume would do? So that, that's the first step. Um, you wanna think outside the box of the resume. And then another step would think of uh, what kind of leader, thought leadership content are you gonna be creating? What kind of content are you gonna be sharing on the LinkedIn platform discussion wise? Are you gonna be that person that people think is a resource by sharing other people's content? Or are you gonna share other people's content but put your spin on it so that you have your thoughts in there? Or are you just gonna create new content altogether? And I think the mix, that I'm sure people are familiar with that 80-20 rule, 80% shared content of others, 20% your own, and I like to flip it the other way so that people see you as a thought leader. So that would be another step um, for the strategy. So that and means another, you're creating a lot of your own content as opposed to, to sharing other yeah. things. Is that in the forms of just updates or is it, is it blog posts? From what we've found, updates kind of get buried in um, the news feed. So it would be more discussions that you share so that the, maybe a discussion you share within a group that you belong to would go to um, an article you had published somewhere, a blog post, or even more information on a webinar a landing page or something like that. But there's like upfront value in the discussion so that someone could actually walk away from that discussion without having to click on it. So click on the link to follow up. So you're basically gaining everyone's or the readers, prospects, whoever it is that's reading the content, their permission to take that next step and click on the link. All right, so th this whole first step really is all about um, how you wanna position yourself, how you wanna be perceived by other people and then Obviously, it's, it's as a thought leader, so we're sharing 80% you know, of our own content and then 20% of, of other people's content. Correct, correct. And there's another thing, uh, another part of that strategy would be intelligent prospecting. So that means not connecting with everyone and everyone, actually developing a strategy for who your target audience is, whether it's industry, position, um, experience. So you're not connecting with people that are long shots or hopefully well, they'll be able to introduce you to so-and-so who actually has the buying power or the decision-making power. Um, so you don't want so many like secondary prospects or influencers. You want the key decision makers who are in charge of making the decision to invest in your solution or product, services, whatever it is, you wanna connect with those uh, high level prospects. So that would be intelligent prospecting. And another aspect of the strategy would be community building and engagement. So um, for our clients, what we do is we have a community that's based on the challenge or uh, problem that their audience would be facing, and then they populate it with content. Um, so for example, in my group, I have a pretty small group in comparison to other groups. I have only 500 people, but those are sales and marketing leaders that are in B2B, so they're very targeted. Um, you know, I'm not focusing, focusing on quantity, I want the quality connections because uh, B2B buyers are looking for quick access um, to these trusted experts and they want the relevant content and the best way to do that is to put it in front of their face by having them in your community. Um, so you can keep them engaged, keep them active and then build that relationship with them because LinkedIn is all about building relationships and a group is a great way to do that. And then the last piece of the strategy that I think people should look for um, for the coming year is lead generation and a lead ge um, engagement strategy. So now you have this group of prospects. What are you gonna do with them? How are you gonna engage with them? Um, how are you gonna use the content that you have, the marketing collateral, case studies, white papers, any kind of third party research you have? How are you gonna use that to support what you are talking about and how are you gonna get them to wanna talk to you? So how are you gonna get, how's the marketing team gonna get um, somebody interested to talk to sales? So you're gonna have to, have a strategy to get people interested and get them moving into the pipeline and engage with you further because obviously most of these sales are going to take place offline. So this is all about nurturing and uh, engaging on LinkedIn to take it offline. 